Sometimes we call the planet Venus Earth's twin, but that's only because the two planets are roughly equal in size. After that, not much else is similar, and because of the extreme temperatures on the so-called planet of love, humans would not stand any chance of survival. In the words of one writer, Venus is a hellish world of infernal temperatures, a corrosive toxic atmosphere, and crushing pressures at the surface. We just couldn't go there. The temperature on Venus wouldn't melt anything that got near it. But that might not have always been the case, and as you'll see today, perhaps in the past, Venus might have been altogether a different kind of beast. Let's first give you a Venus 101. It's the second planet from the Sun behind Mercury, and in front of us it was named after the Roman goddess Venus who, among other things, was the goddess of love. Sometimes you can see it without the aid of a telescope, but only during a specific time in a specific place. There are a few things you need to know about Venus, and these relate to the reasons we just can't go there even if we had the technology to send people to the planet. One thing we doubt you know is that Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. The temperature on the surface might be around 863 degrees Fahrenheit or 462 degrees Celsius. It stays around that temperature, never mind where you go on the planet. You can't exactly get a respite from the heat by taking a trip like you can on Earth. You might now be thinking, how come Venus is hotter than Mercury when Mercury is closer to the Sun? The simple answer is Mercury has a very thin atmosphere and Venus has a very thick atmosphere, consisting mostly of carbon dioxide. The atmospheric pressure on that planet is 92 times stronger than on Earth, so it would be like being 3,000 feet underwater. In the words of NASA, if you somehow weren't melted on the surface of Venus, you'd be crushed. It's this thick atmosphere that traps the heat in, whereas Mercury lets the heat out into space. The heat dissipates on Mercury, whereas in Venus, the thick atmosphere prevents this. Kind of like when you close the door to the bathroom and take a really hot shower. You might be wondering how we got lucky here on Earth and got this nice atmosphere, and some scientists have called it the Goldilocks phenomenon. She got the right porridge, and it seems Earth was perfectly suited at a distance from the Sun that we got the right atmosphere for life to happen. We just got fortunate. But as you see, Venus might not always have been such an extreme place in the past. What does Venus look like on the surface, you might ask? Well, it's rocky, like Earth, but very barren. There are also lots of volcanoes there, although much of the surface is made up of plains. There are also some highland areas, and the highest mountain on Venus is called Maxwell Montez, named after a Scottish scientist. The mountain is 36,000 feet high, or about 11 kilometers. Just for a comparison, Everest is only 8.8 .8 kilometers high. So we've got this extremely hot place that can crush us. NASA also said the surface would stink like rotten eggs, so that's another reason to cancel your trip there. But perhaps it wasn't always like that. You see, Venus is 4.5 billion years old. It's mind-boggling to think about just how long that is because even a few thousand years is difficult to get into our heads. Suffice it to say, it's a lot of time for changes to take place, and now some scientists are saying Venus in the past might have actually been a bit more hospitable. New research that was talked about in 2019 states that for around 3 billion years, Venus might have had a climate that could sustain water on the surface of the planet, that the temperatures could have been not that high at all. With those scientists saying Venus might have had temperatures of only around 122 degrees Fahrenheit, or as low as 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But then there was climate change, according to these scientists, and things got hellish. This change, they believe, could have happened around 700 and 750 million years ago. But what happened? Well, we'll let one of those study authors explain. He said, our hypothesis is that Venus may have had a stable climate for billions of years. It's possible that the near-global resurfacing event is responsible for this transformation from an Earth-like climate to the hellish hothouse we see today. Like Earth, Venus was hot and then cooled. During the cooling phases, there would have been lots of carbon dioxide, but that would have come down and been trapped in the rocks. This would have left room for a lot of nitrogen in the atmosphere, similar to what we have on Earth. The scientists wrote that during this long period, some 3 billion years, Venus had surface liquid water, plate tectonics, and subsequently a stable temperature climate akin to that of Earth. They believed this because they created simulations of how the planet evolved. But then it all changed, and Venus experienced this event that made it the horror show of a planet it is today. Something happened on Venus, where a huge amount of gas was released into the atmosphere and couldn't be reabsorbed by the rocks, wrote the scientists. They believe that volcanic activity might have been to blame for the Venus we have today, with lots of magma being released. Magma is molten rock, the stuff we call lava when it gets to Earth's surface. The researchers believe that this magma could have released lots of carbon dioxide, but when it cooled, it couldn't reabsorb the stuff, and so it stayed around, creating that terrible hothouse. Imagine that, Venus could have once had an atmosphere and an environment like Earth's, 
Does that mean life as we know it could have happened there too? Could we have sent interplanetary text messages to each other if it had stayed that way? Well, researchers said that in the past it might have been possible. Those researchers concluded our models show that there's a very real possibility that Venus could have been habitable and radically different from the Venus we see today. What do you think Venusian life could have looked like? Could an intelligent species have once lived there? Tell us in the comments. Now go watch most extreme planets in the galaxy. Thanks for watching and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.